Dr. Gomes, thank you very much for having me here. And I have to admit, this is not the typical location that I meet clinical colleagues. Where am I? Well, at the moment, you're inside a medical clinic on wheels. It's all about bringing healthcare to people who would otherwise miss out in areas which uh, access to care is a real challenge. This is part of Heart of Australia. So tell me a bit about what is Heart of Australia. Uh, Australia is a very big country with scattered populations and trying to access healthcare for a lot of those patients, especially Indigenous patients, is a real challenge and in many instances uh, basically impossible. So here we bring not just the doctors but the toolbox which they need to do their job out to people in the in the region. So when you're sitting across a desk talking to someone with pain in their chest, you can say, well, it could be your heart. Why don't you step in the room next door and we can do a stress test because we have a treadmill and ultrasound machine. If there's someone who said, look, I, uh, I've been a bit short of breath. I coughed up some blood the other day. You can say, well, why don't you step in the room next door? We can do an X-ray. We can do a CT scan of your chest. And what it does is it allows you to close that loop very quickly from symptom to diagnosis to treatment, all potentially in the one visit. So it saves patients multiple trips, traveling to and from the cities. And in the case of Queensland, which is the state this clinic currently runs, you know, that could be a thousand kilometer one-way trip. So Dr. Gomes, we're seeing a lot of headlines about how hospital beds are full. There are staff shortages. Emergency departments are full. Ambulances are waiting with no bed to place the patient. Do you see a role for bringing the care to the patient, hospitals on wheel effectively, helping to offload some of that? Absolutely. I mean, for a lot of things which you don't require the infrastructure, like a major intensive care unit, to have done, uh, in a hospital, uh, it's quite achievable in a service like ours, which uh, is a mobile medical clinic. And you know, if we look towards the future, certainly miniaturization of medical devices is continuing. Um, the procedures that at one time required lengthy stays in the hospital now can be done through an incision about the size of a pencil point and you leave the hospital a few hours later with a band-aid on your wrist. Do you anticipate that these trucks could serve as a vehicle, no pun intended, for treating patients with for instance, coronary artery disease, or doing biopsies, or minimally invasive procedures? I think so. Now, as we get more familiarity with services like this, I think we'll find uh, we'll be trying new things. Certainly, uh, anything which requires a semi-sterile environment uh, is, is potentially feasible. You know, minimally invasive procedures, uh, image-guided therapy, uh, with our new CT scanner on board, uh, they're all potential, potentially uh, very viable and we'll be looking to see what's possible in, in the coming months. And this truck is not <clears throat> just any old truck, this is a very custom built truck that you helped design. So we're now on Heart 5, the fifth one of these things, and it's even powered in a unique way. Tell me about yeah. that. So this is, uh, you're right, this is the fifth truck in the series. It's a little bit different to the previous ones. It's our first radiology clinic. This truck does not require any dedicated power supply on site for it to work and in fact it's the world's first battery operated CT scanner in a truck. It's, uh, it's been a great project to work with Philipson. This truck has a, a combination of solar power. It's got diesel backup generators and it's got an extremely efficient battery system which allows us to run the CT scanner and uh, that in itself is a work of art and something I'm very proud of. So is the technology, certainly the people most of all, physicians, staff, techs, nurses, but then there are also industry partners that helped you with this. For us, we believe in collaboration, but very lean, sensible collaboration. Philips reached out to Heart of Australia back in 2017 uh, when they recognised that our mission to make healthcare more accessible was quite well aligned with Philips's global mission. We certainly appreciated Philips as a technology partner and as a global leader in healthcare technology. We're very glad to have Philips and very grateful to have Philips. Uh, IMED Radiology, who is a global radiology partner, uh, assist us with all the radiation uh, accreditation, uh, shielding design for the truck. 
and of course uh, we have the doctors and the clinicians who provide the clinical governance. So having the right uh, t uh, framework of partners is crucial. It's extremely important to have like-minded partners to make a project like this successful. And to be honest, it's a lot more fun when you're doing things with like-minded people. <laughs> and now, you're in the know.